What is going on, everybody? DJ Minds here. Okay, so if you are like me, you're feeling that euphoria. When I say euphoria, you're starting to feel that tingle. You're like, oh, baby, is the bull run coming? Feels good because we've had so many, <laughs> so much bad energy, so many bad vibes, and, and the prices have just been awful. And everybody's been just talking about how nothing is profitable and stuff. And so they're starting to see some really good news here, which I'll show you in a minute. Do me a favor. If you like this video, please do like it and consider subscribing. So let's check it out, man. The shout out to Red Panda. He sent me this list right here, the proof of work watch list for him. So look at Bitcoin, man. In the last 24 hours, we're barely up. But the bigger picture here is the seven day. We're up 20%, almost 21%. Ethereum is up 16.67%. We haven't seen moves like this in a very long time. Now, if we look at the seven day, right? If we just look at what's been doing the best over the last week, Ethergem, I don't really know what that one is, to be honest with you. But Meowcoin, wow, surprisingly, 36% up. Ergo, a very popular one, almost 32%. Caspa, a lot of people really like this. 30% gains. I mean, dude, as someone who's in the stock market, you're not getting close to these gains in the stock market right now. But most of crypto is pretty much all crypto is doing so well lately. Alephium, 26%. We got your flux right here, 24%. Raptorium, shout out to Raptorium on a climb. Man, they might hit that penny again, 21%. Cortex, Bitcoin, 21%. Ubic, Pigeon coin, uh, Ethereum, 16.67% Aon. And, and you get the point of what I'm saying. You're seeing some massive moves here, man. And it's really interesting to see. So let's look at Bitcoin. This is something, again, that's very important and it's going to raise everybody. And I think also I would not be surprised the next bull run if Ethereum was raising everyone. So just shy of $21,000. And if we can honestly, if we could just hold this 20,000 mark, like I would be so happy. We have to look at like a broader scale because it doesn't look like much here. It really doesn't. We're not going to get into the the technical analysis on here. But if we can hold that 20,000 mark, you're really not seeing a lot of resistance past like 22 up till 24. So yeah, if we could just become a new support, if 20,000 is the new support, oh my goodness, man, that would be awesome. And you could just see such a mining difference or a revenue difference between what we were at 16, 17,000 Bitcoin, especially for all the proof of work coins. Now, something that's very difficult to factor in, right? If you come over to what to my, I mean, how do you tell someone with these 30% marks that they're not profitable? Or like, how do you really gauge that? Because what to mine is going off the 24 hour. You know, if you're only so focused on, hey, today on the 17th of January, or, or sorry, today's the 16th of January, I'm only getting X amount. But how do you really factor in that future price appreciation so that's something i would consider like especially if you're borderline now let's look at me i'm definitely not borderline profitability i'm at 16 cents sometimes 17 cents let's go with the low number 16 cents we're going to use the nvidia card 3070 so pretty much nothing is profitable for me even with this large markup so pretty much here my best option is flux which is losing about 27 cents and that's for the 3070 right we can't we can't lie like it's still hurting but what if you're at i don't know 12 cents. I think there's a decent amount of people at 12 cents. I think as you get to 10 cents, it gets more and more out of reach. But let's just look for flux. You're losing 13 cents. I mean, that see, you see what I'm saying? That's really not bad, especially if you think that we are going to have a bull run. And, and the thing is, right, I want to be clear. We don't need this massive bull run. We, we're only at 20, 21,000 Bitcoin, and we're starting to see almost profitability. We're almost there for most people. So we really only need to hit 23,000 Bitcoin, maybe 25,000, and you're starting to break even or really gain some money. And again, how do you factor that in? What if you go ahead and you start mining? Like I've been on Flux and I got a little bit on Ergo right now. You get a 20% boost. Again, that's not a full on bull run, but you're just getting those massive gains. And would that change this from negative 13 cents all of a sudden to break even? I really do think so. So it's something to think about, man. If, if you just get so, you know, interested in what is today? What, is, what am I yielding today? What am I getting today? I'm, you're not selling today anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I would encourage people to really look at the broader picture here. Like, what is your goal, man? Is it to get rich today? Yeah, it's probably not, right? So yeah, it's fine. Now, in certain situations, buying the coin is just going to be a lot better for people like me. I'd say if you're above probably 14 cents at this current moment, it makes a lot more sense to buy the coin. But again, that could change. And that's why I say with this little baby rally that we're having, I think it's a decent time to get back into mining. So let's go to ASIC miner value. We'll look up 16 cents, right? And obviously, if you're higher, it'll hurt you a little bit more. But if you're lower, it's looking pretty good. So wow, man, we're starting to see a lot of these tan colors, which means you're making a little bit of money. Where before, you know, a week or two ago, I was not seeing this even at 16 cents, which is god awful, by the way. I mean, the KA3, you can cut that in half. It says $41. Just, just if you buy one, it's gonna be like 20 bucks. 
your L7 still very, very bullish here. Uh, and then the problem is what you're seeing a lot of these is the Bitcoin miners are not doing that well. And I think we might continue to see that. I hope not. But with that price appreciation, you know, this dollar here could easily become $6, $5 in a real bull run. So it's something to consider. You know, now we're starting to get into the red, which is like the KD light. Again, this is at 16 cents, guys. So let's just go ahead and look at it. You know, a lot of things are starting to become better and better. Let's look at 10 cents man i think a decent amount of you let me know in the comment section below what is your kilowatt rating if you're at 10 cents dude wow a lot of options a lot of things are profitable the ipolo g1 the jazz miner making four dollars and 40 cents a day that's pretty solid right there and again look at this man until look look how many asics right now he had, he had to get to the red all the way down to the 177 terahash again the same thing it's like the bitcoin miners are doing bad but the rest of asics are incredible at this current moment will that change for bitcoin specifically the asic miners i don't know i mean even here right if i could lose only five cents a day on my s19 j pro 104 terahash or 96 i think that's still pretty solid man I, I don't see any issue and i think asics are really good the 140 terahash the state of the art one making two dollars and 76 cents per day so one thing to consider is how much longer are we going to see these cheap asic prices you can find used s19 j's whichever one maybe 100 or 104 for like 1800 bucks man you're not going to get that in my opinion during the bull run there's no way there's no way they're going to be selling this cheap man and yeah a new technology will come out of course right of course even this right now this s19 xp which is like the best of the best bitcoin miner they're charging 46 dollars a terash how much do you think if bitcoin goes to 40,000 or 50,000 this will be dude i'm thinking it's gonna be like 80 dollars, 70 dollars a terahash that might sound crazy to a lot of you but believe me it's really not so even if we look at uh, dogecoin which has been really solid doesn't really matter which one you have as long as it's fairly new they're trying to sell this for nine thousand dollars in my opinion if this goes you know if bitcoin goes to forty thousand, dude there's no way this is only going to be nine thousand dollars so you have to ask yourself is it worth it to buy the harbor right now mine with it for a little bit and then maybe even just sell the asic in the future it's not a life commitment i know when it comes to gpus right it's, it feels like a life commitment like you want to have this gpu forever the asics i don't know maybe you do maybe you don't but it seems like a better decision in my opinion to just buy the stuff now mine with it then wait to the bull run and you could continue to mine if you really want to or just unload it for a lot more than you paid for i think there's a lot of really good situations coming up i think there's a lot of good scenarios and obviously different mining strategies let me know what yours is but i think we have a good opportunity in front of us if i were i can't say if i were you for me what i've been doing is i bought two kd box twos i did buy an s19 xp but not the 140 terahash that's an extra thousand dollars i think i got the 132 or 133 whatever that is it's essentially a 140 but i I think it just didn't make it it didn't hit the benchmark of 140 and it's like five thousand five thousand five hundred dollars something around there and i'm telling you man you know no promises but there's no way it's only going to be five thousand in the bull run i think we're good all around and i do think over this year you know we're going to start seeing massive price appreciations and that is going to bleed into gpu prices and everything don't be surprised if we start getting more 30 percent run-ups 50 percent run-ups that are very quiet and it happens overnight right so if you try to chase it that day you're like oh this is up 30 percent let me go ahead and mine this coin all of a sudden you've already missed that markup right you've got to be in before that markup to enjoy all the benefits to reap the rewards of those markups it's up to you let me know what you decide please guys uh if you haven't already check me out on twitter join the discord and if you made it to the end of the video please do put in hashtag vape i got a lot more videos coming for you 2023 is the year i'm calling it it's gonna be an awesome year towards the end of the year and i think the entire year we're gonna either stagnate or slowly go up it's gonna be really good i love every single one of you dj mines signing now as a crypto miner you know you want your equipment to be high quality proper cable management is part of your mining rig and the Veteran Miner has you covered. The Veteran Miner cables are created with the best materials to ensure they are of the highest quality. Our cables are made of 16 gauge tin copper, ensuring another layer of protection from oxidation and corrosion. We have different colored cables carefully crafted to suit your mining rig needs. Glued heat shrink is used to firmly secure the ends on sleeving and wires. We ensure our crimp pins are up to manufacturer specifications with our calibrated machinery. Our wires also have a non-looping design for not only a clean setup, but also for avoiding wire bending. Our cables are 100% made in the USA. The Veteran Miner is forward thinking, 
always looking for new products to bring you. We support our products with a 100% guarantee. What are you waiting for? Visit our website at www.theveteranminer.com and get the best cables for your mining setup.